it can come down beside it and you can see that it's just on the water level here okay so we're just at water level here uh, and this represents the difference between the uh, sea level and the ocean and the earth's crust okay so when there's extra weight on the earth's crust the earth's crust is pushed down the sea level relative to the earth's crust rises however if that weight is taken off by weathering and erosion over periods of time you can see that the earth's crust is rising relative to sea level so that's going to expose all this new land above sea level that means the river has to run through it and likewise if that weight is put back on because of full mountain building or because of uh, an ice age look what happens to the earth's crust relative to sea level sinking so now i've only got this area here exposed above sea level so all my rivers are going to be on this but if i take off that extra weight this piece of land now pops up and I've got all this extra land that the river now has to, to move over. So that's our isostasy. So it's the rise and fall of the Earth's crust relative to sea level. Okay, Isostatic uh, readjustment is when weight is added to the Earth's surface by glaciation or fall mountain building. It causes crust fall in relation to sea level let's add more weight let's get it to, to fall a bit more here now and it's falling again so the earth's crust is declining it's going down and whatever's on the earth's surface has to readjust it has to readjust including the rivers to this uh fall in the earth's crust but rise in sea level okay so it's a fall in the earth's crust relative to sea level here's my sea level right there so you can see that you know only that piece of crust here is above water level let's remove the weight this is isostatic rebound let's keep an eye on that water level here now again and this it got caught in my nails is isostatic rebound